Some more good news here. One of the newest firefighters with the Treasure Island Fire Department has been given the Medal of Valor. It's the department's highest honor for his service in southwest Florida after the storm. 10 Tampa Bay's Shannon Claude talked to him about his rescue missions. Travis DeBerry hadn't been working a full month when he answered a call for help. I took an opportunity to go down as soon as I heard about it. DeBerry was one of several Treasure Island firefighters who went to Southwest Florida to do rescue missions. We were doing welfare checks in neighborhoods, driving door to door, making sure everyone was okay. One door, his help was needed. We threw the truck in park and jumped out as fast as we could. A 70 year old woman who was trying to get water was in desperate need of help after she was trapped in the floodwaters. We thought maybe she was just stuck, but actually she was trying to get out and she was sinking deeper. Thankfully, DeBerry was able to pull her out and get her into her house safely. We were at the right place at the right time, and uh, I was just fortunate I could be there. DeBerry tells me his mission's concentrated in the Arcadia area. This family is one he won't forget helping. There was a family who their autistic son had lost his bike. Something this family couldn't replace. The father had lost his job because he worked at a restaurant that got wiped away. His team bought this boy a new bike with their own money. You get to see people in their worst of times and you get to be a friendly face and you get to be a helping hand. DeBerry may be new to the job, but he knows what will never get old, helping people however he can. In Treasure Island, Shannon Clo, 10 Tampa Bay. Sounds like he's made for the role. Total Absolutely. of three members of the department were sent down to help. All were awarded.